In this video, I'm going to show you how to create your graphs for the force versus mass data, as well as the force versus acceleration data. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make two columns. First column is going to be our independent variable. So for force versus mass, we were changing the mass. So that'll be our independent variable. The units are in grams. And then we were measuring the force. And the units were newtons. OK, so we're going to go ahead and type our data in here. I'm just going to throw some random numbers in here. You should be using your data from the lab. So I'm just going to use a mass of 10, 20, 30. And then you're going to put in your average force values here. You don't want to put in a column for each trial. You want to just put in the average numbers. Okay, your graph will look horrible if you put in all of the trials. We just want the averages for each mass. So I'm just going to throw in some random numbers. How about 3.14, 1.59, that's pi. And how about 2.98? Okay, so I threw in some random numbers again. You're going to go ahead and throw in your own data here. I'm going to go ahead and select everything just like this. I'm going to go up to the Insert menu. And I want a chart. OK, so my graph looks like this. A couple things we need to do to our graph. We want to take our title here, and we want to go ahead and change it so it says force versus mass. Don't want the units in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete those. OK, if you put the units in the titles like this, they should be down here. So I should have one on the x-axis for mass and then a title on the y-axis for force. Okay, and then I've got my data points just like this. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and insert a trend line. To do that, you can click on the graph. Um, if you don't see that sidebar, you can double click on the graph. You wanna go to customize, this customize menu here. I'm gonna scroll down to series, expand that. And I want to go down to where it says trend line and go ahead and click that bar. Okay. And then you're going to see a line pop on your graph. Again, I just threw in some random numbers here. So my line is probably looking different than yours. So as long as you've got a line on the graph, you're good. Now, to take this graph and insert it into our lab document, you can just click on it, go up to edit, copy and then just paste it into your lab document. So once you're in Google Docs, you just go up to the edit menu and then just click paste. It may ask you to paste the chart, either linked or unlinked. You can just click paste unlinked and it'll bring your chart in just like that. To insert our other graph, we're gonna repeat the same steps. So I'm going to put my independent variable first. For our second data, set we used acceleration so we changed acceleration our units for acceleration are meters per second and then i'm just going to put a two up there we'll pretend like it's up above if you double click on this bar up here it'll expand it you can also just drag it like this so you can see the whole thing and then we measured the force in newtons okay again we're going to use our average force here you do not want a column for each trial so i'm going to go ahead and type in again just some random numbers here so 10 20 30 and then for my force let's do 5 7 12. okay you're going to use your own data here i'm just throwing in random numbers all right i'm going to go ahead and highlight those I'm going to go up to the insert menu. I'm going to drag down to chart and click. Just like before, we need to clean up a few things on here. I'm going to go to my title. I'm going to center it. And then I'm going to clear out the units. So it just says force versus acceleration. OK, if you put the units in here, they should appear down here. OK, so you can also double click on them to change them, but mine are in the right spot. You're going to see your data points on the graph like that. And if that sidebar doesn't pop or doesn't pop up over here, you can double click on your graph. 
you want to find where it says series. You're going to scroll down to where it says trend line. Okay, and again, you're going to see a line pop on your graph. Your line may or may not look like mine. As long as you've got a line, you're good. And again, to copy this into our lab document, we're going to click on the graph, go up to edit, copy, and then I will open up my Google Doc. You'll have another spot on the lab document to paste this in. I just click edit and paste. Again, if it prompts you, you want to paste it unlinked. Okay, and those are my two graphs. Okay, but obviously you'd be pasting these into your lab document. And that's how to do your graphs.